Hey yo, hey, come shopping with me in Hobby Lobby on this beautiful, beautiful evening. So, let me just say y'all, Hobby Lobby was packed out y'all. They was packed. And I had to edit this video because there were so many people in the freaking store. It was just ridiculous, okay? And then everybody looking at you crazy and stuff because I'm in there recording for y'all trying to get this footage. You know what I'm saying? For y'all breaking my back and getting on my tippy toes so y'all could see all the beautiful, beautiful stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Sometimes I just wonder if this YouTube thing is worth it. Sometimes I just wonder if it's worth it. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But anyway, look. <clears throat> look at this, y'all. Look at this. Right here. As soon as I think I seen this, I thought about Bree. I was like, oh, there go Bree. <laughs> No, y'all, because Bree, she did, she did, <coughs> oh, Lord, excuse me, Bree did a nail with Snoopy on it. She drew Snoopy. So, any, anywho, um, I was looking for, okay, I came in Hobby Lobby for one thing, y'all. I ain't even coming here to shop, I promise you. I ain't even coming here to shop. I came in Hobby Lobby for one thing. One thing? And I walked out with probably like six things, you know, small, small stuff. It was okay. It was okay. Mm -hmm. But the only thing I came in here for was a funnel. That's the only thing that I wanted because Nelly, see, when y'all be showing stuff and I be watching y'all's videos, then I want it too. Because Nelly had it on her video. I don't know what she was using it for. She was using it for something else though. <clears throat> she, I think she was using it for making like glitters or, or doing like she was making like some acrylics or something. I don't know, y'all. But anyway, she said she was using funnel. She said she got that hobby lobby. So I was like, damn, I need to go get me a funnel with hobby lobby too. So, but what I wanted the funnel for was my monomer, y'all, because monomer is too expensive. The monomer that I buy is too expensive. I be getting that Kiara Sky monomer. Sometimes I be getting the Glam and Glitz, but it's too expensive to be spilling it at all so i got the funnel so that i could put it in my um container that i put my monomer in you know like the little container that squirts out yeah so i could put the funnel in that and then pour it without spilling it pour it into the wide part of the funnel and then it goes into the bottle and even if you spill a little bit on the side like it's gonna go in the funnel because it's a funnel okay so you're not gonna spill any of it and then you've got it in the little squirty thing so then when you put it in your dish your monomer dish you just squirt it out into the dish so i should not be wasting any more monomer after this okay so anyway I was just showing y'all all the little rhinestones. They had a whole bunch of stuff, y'all, on sale. Really, really cheap. Really, really good price for this stuff. Like $2.99, $1.99, $3.49. And, yeah. I was trying to get close-ups for y'all. I was on. I was squatting down for y'all, trying to, you know, cause y'all know how Hobby Lobby is. It goes all the way from to the floor, all the way to the daggum, where you got to get on your tippy toes to see stuff and stretch up just to get it with your hand. So yeah, and then I don't know why they always want to put the good stuff at the bottom. They don't never want. They want to put the sell stuff at the bottom. Like, they want to put all the good sales stuff at the bottom. Make you bend down and stuff. Like, make you work. They want to make you work for the sale prices, okay? Look at the snowflakes, y'all. You could put that on your nail. That's cute. You're so cute. 
you can put all that on the nail. I put my finger up there so y'all can see. If I had longer nails, you could definitely rock that on your nail. Yeah. Do you work here? Do you have the funnels are? I was asking the lady where the funnels is at since she was following me all through this damn store. I really felt like she was following okay. me, y'all. So since okay. she kept following me, you know, I asked her where the funnels was at. I mean, I really wouldn't. I was really going to find it on my own because I had an hour to, to um, waste. Because I had just got off of work, y'all. It was evening. The sun was starting to set. Or the sun, yeah. When I went in the store, the sun was starting to set. And then I had to go to a meeting after I got off of work. So, but I had an hour and I wasn't going to go home. And then, because if I went home, then I would have go. I would have had to come right back out and go to that meeting. So, there's a Hobby Lobby around the corner from my job. So, I was like, let me just leave work. Well, that doesn't make sense to y'all, I know. Because I don't work. Like, my main office is in my job where I work at. Because I get moved around different places. So, yeah, like my stationary job is like all the way on the other side of town. So, but like my job that I'm working at is around the corner from Hobby Lobby. So, I was like, let me go to Hobby Lobby. I can spend at least 45 minutes or so in Hobby Lobby and then go ahead and go to my meeting because if I would have went home by the time I got home I would have had to leave in like no time I would have to go right back out the door so that didn't make no damn sense at all whatsoever and I don't even know why they had that meeting so daggum late and I don't even know why they had to have a meeting at all because the, me the meeting the meeting was stupid y'all they, they be calling us to the office for the dumbest shit like I did not even need to be at that damn meeting at all. Like, I got nothing accomplished at all at that meeting. So, used to, y'all, they used to have a meeting, like, quarterly, like, every, well, I think they had a meeting. I never, I can't really tell y'all how often they had them because I never went to them, okay? <laughs> they used to be, bad. They, they used to be about ready to write me up because I never went to the meetings because it be bullshit, y'all. So, now... They're only having it twice a year, but I'm only going to go once a year because I don't like going to those meetings. They don't be talking about shit at all. But um, anyway, I was looking at these pens, right this paint the marker, bed. and I bet you, you could write on the nail with that. And it's only $1.99. Yeah, only $1.99. I bet you could write on the nail with that. So anyway, I was just looking around, just looking around, just looking around, trying to waste time. And I wish that I would have got a buggy, y'all, because I needed a buggy. Because I finally found the funnel, and I was complaining about the price of the funnel. Oh, yeah, and here goes those little things. That was, I think, $3.99? Yeah, $3.99 for those little bitty containers. You know, y'all be putting, like, little rhinestones in them and glitter and stuff like that. It seemed like it was a lot in there. So, anyways, there goes the funnels. And I was complaining about that price, honey. Three forty nine, dollars because I thought it was only one funnel. I was like, one funnel? One funnel costs three forty nine. dollars I don't care. Y'all call me cheap. Call me cheap. I don't give a fuck. Say what you want to say. But then I seen it was three. And I was like, okay, 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 okay. That's better. That makes sense. Okay, okay. And y'all know I was still looking around for like one. But of course they ain't just sell one. Because I thought I was only going to pay like a dollar for the daggone funnel. 99 cent, bitch. So, anyway, look at these though, y'all. Y'all could use this for like a table topper. You know, it's like, it's glass. So, you know, if you have a nice table that you work on that you don't want to mess up. Because, you know, acetone will eat up every damn thing. So, if you have a nice table that you want to work on, but you don't want to mess up your table, you could go to Hobby Lobby and just grab one of these off. And that's a big enough square to cover the whole area that you, you know, you ain't going to work in a bigger area than that. That's a pretty big square of glass. So, anyway, y'all, and then I started looking at these rocks and stuff because I have a fish tank. And I know y'all seen me buy some of these rocks when I was on vacation. But 
They didn't have those blue ones though. Not those, but the not those. They ain't have those either. But they them blue ones though. I had to get <clears throat> I had to get one of these. So now like it's in my fish tank now and it's so pretty, y'all. It looks like, you know, a blue ocean at the bottom of my fish tank. So anyway, I was just over here in this little corner, y'all, because I was waiting on people to move. You know, because it was a lot of people in the store, but there wasn't nobody over here in this little corner. So, you know, I was just over here in this little corner, just, you know, pretending like I was looking at this little stuff that I was not going to buy. Waiting on people to move out the way. Because people are so rude. Let me tell you what they did to me. I had to edit this stuff out. But, like, when I was over there looking at the little um, glitter papers that I was showing y'all. Like the black and white stripe and the, the um, gold and all that stuff you could put on your table. Or you can like take pictures or something on top of it or whatever. Like this, this, I'm, I'm not even gonna cuss. I'm not even gonna cuss. But literally, it was somebody all the way on the other side of the road came over seen me looking at that and gonna come right next to me and start looking where the fuck i was looking like okay if i stick my arm out if i stick my arm out and i could touch you ma'am sir you are too close to me like you are in my space give me my space okay that's one thing i miss about covid when COVID was around, you couldn't be getting all close on top of people, stuff like that. Be all in somebody's space like you just know them and y'all live in the same household and stuff like you just go to the bathroom together. I don't know you like that. Get out of my... Why are you all up on me? Why? Literally was all the way down a whole different aisle. And then seeing me over on a whole different aisle, they're going to walk right up on me looking at the shit that I was looking at. Now, when I see somebody looking at some shit that I want to look at, I'll look at some shit like two feet away from them, you know, and then I'll look over at them every like few moments to let them know, like, bitch, get over, keep it moving. I need to look at that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know how we do. You know, when you want to look at something, you go, you don't go right on them. You don't go, like, y'all need to learn this etiquette. This is store etiquette. See, this is why I don't go into the stores. Because y'all don't know store etiquette. This is what you do. You get, like, two feet, three feet away from them. And you, you know, you just be making a lot of noise, you know, on the shelf. And you look, and then you look over at them, and you glance at them. And then you be, you're like, oh, Lord, I don't want this. You know, you start talking to yourself, and then you look over at them. And that lets them know that you trying to look at what they looking at. So they need to figure out if they going to buy the shit or not. Ma'am, are you going to buy? It don't take that long to figure out if you want to buy this shit. It's just 99 cent. Get the shit and move out the fucking way. Okay? Because I, look, cause I, I'm, I, I will tell you this. If they start taking too long, I will be like, excuse me. And I'll grab what the fuck I want right in front of their face and then grab it and keep it moving because i ain't finna be waiting on you forever shit that's one damn thing i ain't gonna do i ain't gonna be waiting on you all damn day i can tell you that right now you know just be real polite because you know when i'm right there next to them i'm already peeping what i want i'm looking over there like okay that's what i'm gonna get because i got good eyesight okay don't play with me i got good eyesight so I'm already peeping what I want. I'm going to give you about 45 to 60 seconds to move out the way. And if you don't move, I'm just going to grab what I need. I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to keep it moving. But anyway, y'all, I got stuck over here at these glitters. As you can tell, look at these glitters, y'all. They had all these glitters for sale. They had so many glitters, y'all. So many glitters they was for sale. Y'all seen the sale sign. So y'all already know. I had to, um, you know, stop recording and go grab me a buggy. And I had to get me a buggy. Because I was recording. And I couldn't, I couldn't grab what I wanted while I was recording. And then I was on the floor trying to record for y'all. Y'all know they had the real pretty glitters at the very bottom of the shelf. 
where you gotta look you see how far down that shit is on the damn floor this shit is hard this shit is work this youtube is work do not play with me I'm in the store recording this shit. People looking at me like I'm crazy. What the fuck is you looking at? You don't know what I'm in here for. You don't know what who I am, okay? I'm I'm looking at this shit to make sure y'all got this shit on the shelf correctly. Y'all y'all don't know what the hell I'm in here for. I'm trying to make sure y'all doing y'all job right. Y'all don't know me. I could be the CEO of this company. I'm in here recording shit, making sure y'all got shit where it's supposed to be and the prices are right. Okay? Don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't worry about what I'm in here doing my phone. It ain't none of y'all business. Don't act like y'all ain't never seen no YouTube person before. Damn. So anyway, these were so pretty, y'all. And I'm, I'm already mad because I didn't get any of them. Like... I don't know what I was thinking. What happened was, so what had happened was, I lost track of time, and I had to get out the store, and I started panicking, because I was about to be late for work, for my little bullshit meeting. So, not really. I wasn't really panicking. Y'all know that. Y'all, let me stop lying. But I knew that time was creeping up on me, and I had to go. So I really wasn't looking at the prices. I was just showing y'all the products. And those things was cheap. And I should have got some. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. Look at those blue. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. All that for $7.99. All that for seven ninety nine. That's a good price, y'all. See, I had by at this time, by this time, I had stopped looking at the prices because it's just so hard. Like I don't even know how I be recording. Like how do y'all record? Do y'all look through y'all's phone or do y'all just hold the phone and then just look with y'all's eyes, like at the product, or do y'all look through your phone because? I don't be looking through my phone. So, when you see me, like, well, I edited this video. But, like, if I didn't edit this video, like, the phone would be going in circles all around the product that I'm trying to get y'all to look at or see. But I still don't be hitting it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't be looking through my phone. So, that's why I got to go back and edit this stuff because I just be all over the place with my phone. Because I really just be holding my phone and looking with my eyes. And then it's like, wherever I go, I hold my phone at my chest. So, I'm holding my phone at my chest and I'm basically looking. So, you know, if I really, really want y'all to see something, I'll look through the phone and see if I'm getting it. Especially, you know, if I'm just going all around it and I keep fucking up and missing the product that I want y'all to see. So, yeah. It's hard in these streets, y'all. It is hard in these YouTube streets. I really do appreciate you if you are watching this video all the way through. I appreciate you. I appreciate you because this was a lot of work for me. This was a lot of work. My knees ain't, you know, kneeing like they used to knee. Okay? So when I got to do all these squats and stuff in Hobby Lobby, it's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, I got to be careful with every movement that I make. You never know. I could just twist a certain way and then fuck up my whole damn back. Like, what, bitch? I could, I could not be doing nothing. I could just be in the bed sleep and then just wake up with a whole damn neck cramp. Like, you, you just never know. You just never know. So these are, doing this is dangerous. This is really dangerous for my health. So I really do appreciate you for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I hate when people say, it don't cost nothing to subscribe, blah, blah, blah. But it's true. Because you know what? I don't want to speak this into existence. But what if YouTube starts making y'all pay to subscribe? Right now, it's free. 
So you need to go on ahead and subscribe to me. So later on, if they make you pay, you won't have to pay because you already subscribed. Maybe they just make the new people pay. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You better get it while it's free. That's all I'm saying. You better hit that button while it's free. Because the world is going crazy. It's going crazy. So now I'm at home. And I'm showing y'all the stuff that I bought. I didn't get shit, y'all. I didn't get shit. Because my mind was made up. I got this glitter for $1.99. But my mind was made up, okay? Because I was just like, I went in Hobby Lobby for a funnel and that's all i'm about to get is a funnel and i don't know why i'm showing y'all that glitter for so damn long y'all see it so anyway that's all i came in here for i'm about to speed the rest of this video up um i also want to let y'all know it's 28 percent of y'all that keep returning to my videos and watching them and y'all have not subscribed yet 28 percent of y'all are returning viewers who have not subscribed to my channel so i need that 28 percent of y'all that you know you here right now you know you watching you have not subscribed to my channel girl go on hit that subscribe button dude go on hit that subscribe button dude it, it's it's okay i promise you it's gonna be okay if you hit that you ain't never gotta watch me again in your life but just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and give me that extra subscriber because I'm on my way to 1K. I'm claiming it. I'm on my way to 1K. All y'all at 1K, I can be at 1K too. Shit. The fuck? Look at this glitter, y'all. But anyway, I'm going to get on off of here. Um because i'm really not supposed to be talking to y'all for this long my break been over about 30 minutes ago but anyway i love you guys i will see you on your video or i will definitely talk to y'all in my next video bye oh i ain't done yet i gotta tell y'all i got kitty a house off Timu, y'all. And I just want to say that it's okay. It's waterproof and everything. It's small. But I feel like the house that I made for her was a way better house than the one I bought off Timu. Uh, I don't know what the hell this is. They know they was wrong for this right here. Putting this in this package like this. Because that's the, I did not order that. I did not order that. They know they wrong for this. They know they dead ass wrong for this. Really? Really? Are you serious? That's wrong. Really? That they did me wrong. Look at that, y'all. And I counted them because I know I, I was supposed to at least get fifty. That one fifty. And how they have it packaged? Ah, that just disgusting. That just just, just disgusts me. That just disgusts me how they do me like that. But anyway, y'all, I bought Kitty a team new house. And I just want to say the house that I built for her out of Saran Wrap was a way better house than this house right here. And I think she likes that house better. But she got two houses now. So she want to invite her boyfriend over to stay in the other house. He could stay, you know what I'm saying? She could charge him rent, do whatever she need to do. It's some more cats around the street on the other side of the road on the west side over there if she want one of them to come they can come as long as they pay rent i'm okay with it you know what i'm saying that's more money for us so anyway it's two houses out there now and she could do what she want to do with it but she got it she better go high on that rent she got she got to go high on it because i'm telling you i get a cut because they on my property they own my property and not only that she still owe me for the first house that i made for her and she ain't gave me nothing she ain't gave me a damn thing and then my husband mad because he go outside he don't see her and he like we done did all this for her and she don't even stay over here have time like because you keep feeding her stop feeding her and he get mad because he don't understand how cats are i'm like that's not how they're not dogs they ain't needy they funny acting 
You see up here feeding her three times a day. She got food every time she come. You got to let her. She got to know that, you know what I'm saying? He don't get it. He don't get it. He want to get all mad and stuff because he, he don't see her. But I told him, I said, she'll be over there in a minute. Go put some food in the bowl. Damn. Anyway, y'all, I got to go. Bye.